One very common misconception about batteries is that batteries create electric charge. Now we know by the conservation of electric charge, electric charge cannot be created and cannot be destroyed. So that basically implies that batteries cannot create electric charge. So what actually takes place inside a battery is a chemical reaction produces a separation of electric charge. And because of that separation of electric charge, an electric potential difference, a voltage difference, is created. And that voltage difference propels our electrons to move from the lower potential to the higher potential within our battery. So if we take a battery and place it inside a closed electric circuit as shown, our electrons will begin to move from the lower potential of the battery to the higher potential of the battery, from the negative electrode to our positive electrode. So electrons travel in the following pathway, and if we place some type of device, let's say a light bulb, those electrons will pass through our light bulb, and that movement of electrons will create light. So we define the electric current as the flow of charge through some region within a conductor. And our electric current is given by an uppercase I. So we define two types of current. So the average current is given by I with the bar symbol on top that symbolizes the average. And this is equal to the change in our electric charge per some unit time. Now we can also define the instantaneous current at some given moment in time to equal the derivative of our Q with respect to time. Now, when electric current was first observed, it was believed that it was a result of the flow of positive electric charge, so the direction of the conventional current was chosen to be beginning at our positive side and ending at the negative side. So even though electrons travel in this direction, our conventional current is defined to travel in the opposite direction. Now, the the unit of current is given by ampere or simply amps and that's given by uppercase A. So let's look at the following example in which we're going to apply this equation. So an electric current exists within an electric circuit given by 5 amps and it exists for 10 minutes. So assuming the current is steady, determine how much electric charge past a given point in the circuit over this time interval of 10 minutes. So we essentially use this equation and we solve for our change in Q. So the change in Q is equal to the product of our average current given to be 5 amps and the change in time which is given in seconds. So 10 minutes multiplied by 60 seconds per minute, the minutes will cancel and we're left with an electric charge of 3,000 coulombs.